0344 1000 is the telephone number. Good evening, Paul. Hi, how you doing? I've been busting skeleton. I've been holding on for ages for a change. I normally I would have hung up, but you've all been so close tonight to call something that you could use a word that calls something that is great or brilliant. It's what all the kids are using these days. Yes. The word is called dench. Dench. Something that is great. All the all the kids are using right. these the days. Kids are, oh, so all the kids are using it nowadays. It's a popular well, word, it's is it? To do with grime music, that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. the kids using right. uh, the word that, to describe something that is great or brilliant. like Judy Dench. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Oh. That's where they got the oh. word from. Brilliant. So all the kids are using. Oh, so everyone's using it now. It's a popular word, is it? It's um, yeah. Oh. You've all been so close. Close to, to close to Kath, it. Kath, Kath, Kath thought of the word yep. donch, didn't yep. she? Or do- yeah, yeah, yeah. You've all been Donk. so close. Yeah, so, 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 but, but, so the word is dench, is it? The word is dench. Right. And you the absolute word. idiot! You absolute moron of the lowest order! You have been waiting on the line for an hour and nineteen minutes since the start yeah, of this show. Yeah. Shut up and listen, boy. Shut up and listen. You have been waiting on the phone since the very start of this show to tell us the word dench is in popular usage by the kids. When if you had actually been listening to what I was saying, I said several times we are looking to make a new word mean dench or mean great or mean wicked that we were going to drop into our vocabulary and see if it spread. We weren't looking for a word that already means wicked or cool or dench. We are looking to find a new you word. Use the word dench at all. No, I know, but we said we are looking to find a new word, you absolute yeah, pudding. It's a new word. But it's in it's use word. already, you Flipping idiot! Oh man. It's in it's use already! Word. It is a new word. It's in use already! Yes, but it's. New We're new not looking day. for a word that's in use already! But We're looking new for new a new word! It's new. You carry on taking the Mertazapine, mate. You carry on being an absolute bellend. No, we are not no. looking for a word in use. We are looking for a brand new word. Yeah, and it's a brand new word. No, it's in not. Time. It's all. It's already in use. Yeah, but you haven't thought of it, had you? Jesus Christ! I haven't thought about a helicopter since the show started. It doesn't mean it's the word I'm looking for. Dench is a perfect word. No, it doesn't fit the criteria that I have laid down. Okay, what about the word arse, then? Is it in use? No, I've just made it in use. You're a twat. No. Good day. Flipping heck. How long have you been holding on? Since the start of the show. Since the start of the show, he has been holding on. And he... Get ready for the emails. He still doesn't know why Dench doesn't fit into the phoning that we are doing. He still doesn't know. He still doesn't know because he doesn't listen. He is... In the 20 years I have been doing phone-in radio, he is by far my least favourite caller I have ever had. And I used to have a Scottish man called Alex who would phone up and tell me how he would go to dental training school for five years and then find out where my local dentist practice was and he would get a job there just on the off chance that I, he would find me sat in his seat one day so he could drill in all of my teeth without administering any anaesthetic. And the thing is, he meant it. And I preferred him over Paul in Stoke Poges. Dear God. Jeez. I took one caller to court for harassment. I preferred him over Paul in Stoke Poges. Dear God, what 
What is wrong with the man? What is wrong with the bloody man? Get ready for the emails. I have never in my life spoken to somebody who has had such a poor grasp of simple, basic English as that cloth-eared fool. I may have overreacted a little bit there, I don't know. 0344 499 1000 is the telephone number if you uh, want to give us a call. We're still looking for a word that isn't currently in usage to mean good, wicked, cool, um, dench. So we're looking for a word. 0344 499... Yes, Paul! Okay, I express an apology for what you just said. Don't you tell me what to say. I express an apology. There is no way I would want to drill inside your teeth just to be a flipping, just to be a flipping stalker. Or I something. didn't say you wanted to. No, yeah, but you've you've implied that I'm. No, I haven't. No you don't way, listen. No you you don't listen. Sorry, Paul, Sam. There is no way you should get away with that. that Sorry, I didn't, tonight. Paul. I didn't say that. He put the phone down. I didn't... I didn't say that! Is this guy absolutely insane? Is he nuts? I didn't say that! I was talking about a Scottish fellow we used to call Nasty Alex! Hello. I didn't say that! And now I expect an apology from no, you! you were implying... No, I wasn't! I said I preferred that caller over you! you. exactly what you said. No, you, you didn't! No, things. you didn't! You didn't hear it! You weren't listening! Of course I was listening. No, you weren't! You what did I say, then? Things. What did I say? Yeah, OK, you... Uh, I know exactly what you said. Tell me, tell, tell me, you, tell me. You, you repeat, it, repeat, repeat it, repeat it, buddy. R- repeat tired, it, Paul. Paul, Paul, stop making it. jokes about mental health that you can't understand. Tell yeah, me what I, I said, Paul. Exactly tell me, tell me what I said, Paul, because you've got it wrong, mate. Tell me. You were implying that I was some sort of idiot or nope. stalker or something. No, 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 no. I said that I used to have a caller who threatened to learn dentistry so that he could cause me maximum pain. Yeah, and I and preferred... You no, me. shut up. I said I preferred his calls over yours. That's Which exactly what I said. with me. Sorry? Which connects it with me. Yeah, it doesn't way. mean it's implied that I'm yeah, saying it's, that... It's Jesus, this guy's an idiot! Listeners. Yes, I'm going to make it easier for everyone, Paul. Never phone, no, never phone my show tonight. again. Never phone my show again. Okay, never, never phone it again. <laughs> Let's hope that that's that's him going on. What an absolute pudding! Dear goodness gracious me! Don't they don't like it up them, do they? Stimulating nightly emissions guaranteed to open your eyes and your mind. Oh my word! The late night alternative with Ian Lee. On Talk Radio. Hello, Paul. Hello. I just want to create love and peace. I hate to go to sleep on an argument with anyone. I just want to say love and peace to you. I accept your apology. I just want to create love and peace. No hard feelings. I hate going to bed in an argument. It's wrong. Say the word sorry and we'll be fine. I apologise for anything uh, like you think I've accused you for, but I... I, 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 I <laughs> you either say sorry and you're sorry, or you're not. And if you're not, that's fine. But 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 you, 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 you weren't listening to the show at any point tonight. I am sorry that, that I might have got the, that, I might have got the that, point of the show wrong <laughs> by not using an original word. That, no, 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 right, and the thing about me saying that I thought you were going to drill my teeth out, which I didn't say... No, well, I think maybe you might have been implying something. No, things. no, was not implying anything. I was you saying... You understand why I thought that, though? Yep, yeah, because you're an idiot. I was no. saying I had a caller who once, th- who several times, threatened me physical harm, and I preferred him over you. I didn't say that you were threatening physical harm, I didn't say no, that you were no, training to be a dentist. why some listeners might think that. No, no, I can't. I, I can't, because I, cause, cause I didn't... I, I didn't in any, all I said was, this caller I used to threaten physical harm, and I still preferred talking to him than I do to you. It's not in I any way... never threatened physical harm on anyone. No, and I'm not saying you... I'm gonna... Ah! I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you were, Paul. Literally, I'm not you saying that. You understand why people might understand I can that, understand... Though, from what you you're right. Said. All right, yeah, all right. I can understand why a, an absolute idiot might understand that. 
Yeah, and there yeah. are idiots out there. You're one of them. Yeah, I might be an idiot. No, yeah. I'm not an idiot. Well, hang on, I'm but you thought... Idiot, you I thought... understand why people might no, think that. No, I can understand why idiots might think that, and you thought that, so you must be an idiot. No, I just get an idea what some listeners no, might think. No, no, I don't... No, no, no. You thought that. You thought that. OK, I apologise. I say I'm sorry. Let's go to bed and love There we go. Is that sorted out? Fine, he apologise. Good, I appreciate that. I'm the bigger man. <laughs>